Um, and in fact, our inbox is absolutely groaning today with examples um, from our members of their school saying that they will be retaining uh, masks in, in classrooms. Um, and unfortunately, as we know, the introduction of, of face masks in classroom was made with very, very weak evidence for any efficacy at all um, and plenty of evidence as to the harms for communication. Um, and learning in school. So I'm afraid very much here that the Department for Education has opened a Pandora's box that they're now going to have to try to close to ensure that practically speaking, children are actually freed from this restriction of wearing masks all day. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of people, a lot of parents, a lot of politicians quite like the idea of schools enjoying and heads enjoying a little bit of autonomy. On the other hand, you'd think on something as important as this, you'd expect the Department of Education's writ to run for them to say, off with the masks, now decisions have been made from the top, you need to implement it. As you say, it's not happening. But do we know for how long? I mean, ahead saying, carry on wearing masks in classroom for this much longer. Are we getting any steer from what you're hearing? Yeah, I mean, it, it's mixed, really. Um, some are saying that it was introduced too quickly, this new recommendation for them to be able to review and respond. Um, others seem to imply you know, it will be continuing um, indefinitely. But I think the really troubling thing here is that, you know, it is about now for the Department for Education to um, actually show that leadership and say, you know, what vision do they have for children in schools here in England? Um, because we want children to be in a face-to-face -face education setting um, with their communication and education being uninhibited. And we know that 55% um, of children uh, by the Department for Education's own data said they found it more difficult to learn. That's not desirable at all.